All right, well, welcome back. And it's been a little while just because the postcards have slowed down a little bit. So I'll be only doing this maybe once a week or so, which is a good sign that you are moving on with your lives and maybe doing more summer things. But if you feel inspired to send a postcard, feel free to keep doing that. So we have about, again, 15 or so. So let me share them with you. Um, this one says, shield yourself. This one's a little hard to see. Um, it's like colored pencil on a piece of cardboard. I'm not quite sure where it's from. But an interesting image. Um, this one came, these came together and it says our old hobby, calligraphy. Our new one is watercolor markers and it looks like they've had a good time. And this one is a local postcard that they've been playing around with these two calligraphy and watercolor markers. This one is from California. And it's actually a collage done with really small pieces of paper. And this is from California, it says Hope and Humanity. This one says, wishing you blue skies and sunny days, storms don't last forever. And this is from West Virginia. So we have not had the state represented, I don't think. This one is from Connecticut and it says, don't be sad because sad backwards is das. And that's not good. We will get through this together. Everyone's different, but we are all going through the same thing. This is another one from Connecticut. It says, if you feel like you're losing everything, remember that trees lose their leaves every year and they still stand tall and wait for better days to come. We'll get through this together. And this is actually collage down here. So these were cut out and glued on to an interesting background. The world may change, but we won't give up. We are stronger together, family. This is from New York and it says, you are stronger than you think. This one is, it looks like maybe an astronaut. Great little drawing. Connecticut, welcome to Wilton. This one came in an envelope from the post office. It didn't quite make it. They had a stamp on here and looked like it's had quite a journey. His family. And a unicorn and the pink panther. But I'm grateful that the post office actually packaged it up and put it in a different envelope so it made it. it says, thanks to the frontline workers. We are all in this together. This is from Massachusetts. This is beautifully done. It's um, from Connecticut. And it looks like it's printed maybe on photo paper. It's very very cool. It says, my pug Ezra makes me happy from Massachusetts. And this one, this is on a nice large sheet of paper. It says, I send you my love, stay home, please. And then this one has a lengthy message, a beautiful image. This is local. And so I'm gonna read you the message on the back. It says, I will do all that I can, the best that I can with what I have to make the world a better place. I will try not to listen, but truly hear. I will try to see what others see and understand. I will choose my spoken word carefully, trying not to offend or hurt those who shall hear. I will have compassion for those souls that struggle and cry out for help. I will do and not just say. I seek understanding in all things. I will be the person I was meant to be. I will try to be all of these things. I will try to my best self. This is what I can give others and the world, my very best me. During this time of struggle for all, this is all that I can do is try. Love your life. You are gifted with only one. So beautiful message as we close out the series of postcards. So have a great week. And once again, I thank you for checking in.